was the crux of the argument? I don't know. I didn't get a chance to speak to her again that night after she left that night. And the next thing I got a call from Diana that my fiance has been gruesomely murdered by a friend she most trusted. <sighs> Mr. Richard, I understand how you feel. Inspector, no, you don't. You don't know like, how I feel, Inspector. You don't. Inspector, you have to do something. You have to bring her to book. She must answer for this. We're supposed to get married in three weeks' time, and what do I get my fiance killed just like this? At this point, you have to allow the police do the job. Okay? I promise you we will get to the root of this. How are you feeling, Miss Diana? Terrible. I feel really terrible. I just can't believe my best friend, his sister, and someone who's like a mother to me is dead. Murdered in cold blood by someone she picked from the slump and gave a good life. God. Barbaric. It's sad. Yeah. Thank you. Officer, you're back. You're welcome, sir. What's the latest development? Uh, the forensic report will be ready earlier as of tomorrow. Okay. That's a welcome development. Has she started talking? No, sir. She's still asking to see her lawyer. And meanwhile, there's a young man at the reception who wants to see her. Mm. He said his name is uh, uh, Christopher. Christopher. Christopher, sir. I have to see him first. Okay, sir. I understand how you feel, Miss Diana. If you're not in the right frame of mind, we can do this tomorrow. No, no, no. I'm fine. <laughs> we can do this. What do you want to know? Tell me, how did you find Linda and Cassie? Okay. I was driving home from the gym in the morning when I got a disturbing call from Cassie. She told me Linda had kidnapped and kept her hostage in one of our empty rooms and she's scared of her life. Cassie! Cassie, are you okay? Why didn't you call the police when you got that call? Because I didn't think it was something serious. I felt it was just a lady's fight. Something that can be resolved without involving the authorities. Even after she told you she was in danger? Yes. If indeed her hands were tied, how was she able to make that call? I don't know. Maybe she made that call before she, her hands were tied. I see. And when you saw trails of blood in the kitchen and living room, why didn't you call the police or anyone else? I, I panicked. Okay, let's just say I, I wasn't thinking straight. Are you aware of any altercation or misunderstanding between the suspect and the deceased? None that I know of. As a matter of fact, we are all together. We celebrated her divorce party. Everyone was happy. Divorce party? This is the second time I'm hearing about that. Tell me about it. Okay, Linda just got divorced and she felt she should celebrate her freedom from toxic marriage. That's the new trend now. Most ladies celebrate their divorce. Tell me the truth. Tell me what I want to hear. I did not do anything. You look smart, but you're not. Your fingerprints are littered all over the crime scene. Now tell me, where were you the night she was held hostage? I was at my boyfriend's place. Okay, we, we had a misunderstanding and, and, and then I went there. And I, we talked and I, I, I slept over. And who is this boyfriend? His, his name is Christopher Logo. Christopher. I think he was here yesterday. I had wanted to meet him, but I 
couldn't because of my giant shadow. So what led to the fight? What? What happened? What is going on? What are you hiding from me? What, what are you talking about? Is there something about you I should know? No, no, nothing. Okay, what do you do for a living? I, 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 oh, I, I, I affiliate my... Keep lies! You think I won't find out? God, why would you even hide such thing away from me? What are you talking about now? I don't understand the thing you're saying now. Do you recognize that phone number? Kasi, Kasi. You tell me. What will Kasi gain by lying against you? It, it, it's, it's not what you think. Oh, see, I, I see. can explain. This, you this travel to Arab countries to sleep with rich men, to drink beans and sleep with animals for money. No, no, no. God, it's, you're it's, so disgusting. No, Christopher, it's not what you think. It, it, it's, it's, it's not how you see it. it, it, it Linda. She, 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 we are done. Oh, no, Christopher. I can't cope with this mess. Christopher, don't, don't, don't do this. Can you don't just, come close to me. You just even don't! Let, let me explain. Cassie did not tell you. I'll tell you what. Did... Is that why you killed her? I I did not do it. Are you not listening to what I'm saying? I did not kill her. But you threatened her. Yes, we had we, we, we had a misunderstanding and I, I said things out of provocation. I did not mean any of it. I, I can't even hurt a fly. But you killed a human being. What, what are you saying? What is what are you not listening to me? You're wasting time here. Why don't you just go out there and look for the person that murdered her? I am not the one you should be asking these questions. Okay. If you say you're not a criminal I'm looking for. What then were you doing at a crime scene with the same gun with which he was murdered? I, I I left my boyfriend's house that morning and drove straight to Cassie's house. You had an altercation with her the previous night. Why then did you go to her house the next morning? Well, I went there so that we could talk. I wanted her to look into my eyes and tell me why she sent that text message. I just wanted clarification. I needed her to just talk to me as my friend. I just wanted us to talk. Cassie, are you okay? Are you okay? Cassie! Trust me, I'm very sure somebody else was in that house. And they had my fingerprints in the crime scene. Crime scene. I, I, I don't know, but I'm very certain somebody else was there. Are you in any way suspecting anyone? Yes. My ex-husband, Ikechuku. He, he, he's very angry that I left him. He had issues with Cassie? I, I'm sure he, he's very angry with her. He, he, he feels she's the reason our marriage broke up. You know, he, he feels she, she's a bad influence. I, and the marriage did not work because of her. I, I, but I'm very sure, trust me, I'm very sure that Ikechiku is responsible for this. Officer. Sir. Tell Andrew to see me in the office. You're going for an arrest. Are you, are you understanding what I'm saying? Are you not getting what I'm saying? What, what is going on? Madam. Jesus Christ. Are you...
So how are you? I'm fine. Um, do you trust me? Of course I trust you. I did not do it. I know. And I promise to do everything possible to get you out of here. Thank you so much. I can't do anything without you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You're my woman. It is my responsibility to see that you leave here as soon as possible. So stop thanking me already. You get good at this. Are you sure? I'm, I'm, I'm very sure. He signed the divorce papers without any protest. Obviously, he, he just wants to get back at me. Uh, have you told the inspector? Yes, I, I, I told him and he said he's going to bring him here. Okay. Uh, I promise you will leave here soon. Okay? You're welcome. <laughs> You are Mr. Kechuku? Yes, uh, I'm Mr. Kechuku. But this is my break now. That's the last. What You're car under... did you bring? You're under arrest. Huh? You are coming with us to the station. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Station for what now? Uh -uh. You were named as a suspect for the murder of Miss Kase Bobo. What? Who is Cassie? I don't know who this person is. Who is this person? I've never met this person before. So why would you come here to come and arrest me for what I don't know? I don't understand though. Is this how you people behave? Officer, do your job. Quietly come with us. Our force will be used against you. Okay, it hasn't gotten to this, so please, I'm a gentleman. There's, there's, no, there's no need for all this. There's no need. Let me just... You're please, wasting let, my time. Okay, please, let me just change uh, to my normal clothes. You understand? Go with him. Please, yeah. You can come with me. Just there, sir. There, sir. It hasn't gotten to this, so I don't understand. Who is Kura? Go with him. Ogatochi! I don't know who these people be, oh! What's your relationship with the victim? You want to know my relationship with the victim? You heard me clearly. Somebody can only have a relationship with somebody he or she has met before. Somebody he or she knows. This victim you're talking about, I don't know. I have never met before. I don't know the name you have been calling. Are you sure? Of course. Your ex-wife insists that she had in the past mentioned her name to you on several occasions. She also believes you have some grudges against her given that you think she had been a bad influence on your ex-wife. <laughs> oh, God. Is that what she told you? No, seriously, is that what she told you? No, that, that's what Linda told you. Listen, if... She was influenced by anybody, anybody. That's not my business. I have no business with that. You understand me? That's her own business. But I'll tell you this. This name Cassie, this person you have been calling, I don't know this person. I've never met this person before. You plan keeping me here illegally. I don't understand why I'm here. Stop this. You're reputed to have a very bad temperament. And on several occasions, you abused your wife. That was why she left. Am I correct? You're wrong. You are so wrong. Listen. Linda asked for a divorce. I gave it to her without protesting. That's what I did. And you see, one thing she told you is this. She has been feeding you nothing but lies because Linda left me for a man. Linda left me for a man. So all this things she has been telling you are all lies. Okay, Choco. Did you abuse your wife or not? Oh, 
officer. No. Okay. Let him go. Huh? Yes. We don't have enough evidence to detain him further. But let me quickly say that you are a person of interest as far as this case is concerned. You're not allowed to leave the city until investigations are concluded. You will be closely monitored. Realism, give him his personal belongings. Come with me. Thank you. Uh, 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 sir, why are you letting him go? It's okay. He's not who we are looking for. Oh, how can he be so sure? I know a criminal when I see one. Now listen to me. I want you to get back to work. I need evidence. Concrete evidence. The building as large as that must have CCTV cameras installed everywhere. Go back there. But we've done we've done that already, sir. I need evidence. Since you have arrested the suspect, can Linda be released now? Things are not done that way, Mr. Christopher. There is a process, and that's exactly what we are following. The evidence on the ground absolves the young man. I doubt if he committed the crime. Everything points to your girlfriend. I suggest you get her a lawyer. Yes, I have called her lawyer. Let me quickly ask you. Did your fiancé sleep in your house after the party? No, Inspector. Why do you ask? You know, she told me she slept in your house the night Cassie was abducted. That is not correct. Yes. I left that night in anger. I have not seen or spoken to her until a while ago. Interesting. I know you did it. I don't know what you're talking about. You did it, I and I don't know why. What you're talking about. You think you can deceive the police, but you cannot deceive me. Why are you trying to ruin me? You did it. Ruin you. Ruin you. Look at where you found yourself. You became a shadow of yourself simply because of your quest for more money, fame, power. You became somebody I don't know. You became something far from the wife I married because of affluence. They are treating me like I'm a nobody, like I didn't go to school. For reminders, I'm a mechanical engineer. Forget the fact that life saw me on the side. Fate found me on the wrong side. But I still hold my dignity tight. But you look at you now. My question to you is this. Where are your friends? Where are those your friends who celebrated with you at your divorce party? Where are they? I know what you are capable of. You think you have freedom? Enjoy it. But trust me, it's not going to be long. But I know that you did it. What I'll tell you is this. May God forgive you. Enjoy your stay here. 
Ai mọt Ôi da Ôi da Ôi da I have spoken to the lawyer and he has asked that you sign these papers. But, but why can't I see him? He's running around for your bail. Can you sign these papers and stop asking too much questions? This, this, these are bulky. How, how am I even supposed to read and understand everything here before signing? There's no time to read. Just go to the last page and sign. <sighs> Out of this place, I'm tired. I've not had good food in days. I've not even had a shower in days. And I promise you will live here as soon as possible. Good afternoon, sir. You're back, Mr. Andrew. Let's yes, sit. Okay. Oh, what gosh. were you able to get? You won't believe this, sir. We went to the house and met a new occupant. What? Yes. The house has been sold. The new occupant bought it from Richard, the victim's fiancé. This is serious. And very, very suspicious. These things are happening barely a week after the girl was murdered. We will definitely get to the bottom of this. So what were you able to get? Any um, leak? Uh, yes, uh, we got a CCTV camera. Okay. But badly damaged, sir. Badly damaged. Now, I want you to get an arrest warrant for Richard. Okay? Do that as soon as possible and yes. make sure he doesn't run away. All right, sir. Sir. Officer, what exactly am I doing here? What? You will find out in a second, Mr. Richard. Barely a week, your fiancé was murdered in cold blood in her apartment. You sold off her property and diverted the funds. We want an explanation. Officer, those were my properties, not hers. She willingly transferred everything to my name. We were going to get married. Don't you understand? It was her decision. That's a lie. You know you're lying. Okay. Let's assume you're saying the truth. A murder was committed in an apartment and you sold off the apartment without involving the authorities. Were you planning to run away? <laughs> Officer, I'm an honorable citizen of this country. Why would I run away? Officer, what are you talking about? Mr. Richard, you're not sounding convincing. It might interest you to know that we found a CCTV camera. What? How is that possible? I had all the CCTV destroyed, so how could you have... Officer, I mean, the new tenants that moved in, the new occupants destroyed the CCTV. So how could you have found any CCTV footages? How? It wasn't completely destroyed. We were able to retrieve footages that will enable us to convict you. Are you willing to talk or should we proceed to court? Officer, you know what? Five million. I will give you five million. Where is my phone? I can transfer it to you right away. Okay, five million naira officer, please. You don't have to go to court. 
5 million naira. Okay, fine, I'll make it 10. 10 million naira, 10 million naira, officer, 10 million. Officer, I did not pull the trigger. It wasn't me. It wasn't me that pulled the trigger. It wasn't me. Interesting. Who did? Cassie. that tied you up in here comes and then you can ask your stupid questions listen you are going to do as i say otherwise i will kill this no people. no please don't i will do anything anything i will do just yes. let us go i will if you cooperate i will let you go but if you don't cooperate i will kill you no no i will cooperate do anything. Now listen. I have your phone. Right here. I am going to call Diana. And when I call Diana, you tell Diana that Linda is holding you in here hostage. And she's threatened to kill you if she doesn't come and save you. Not, you hear me? That's not true. Yeah. Did you hear me? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. <sighs> Um, uh, hello, uh, hello, Diana. Um, Linda is, is, is holding me hostage in one of my guest rooms. Um, um, please, please co co come save me. P please. Fool. I told you to, to, to tell her that, that she's threatened to kill you. No, but, but I did so. Did you? Yes. Um, um, but no. Please let us go. Let you go? Are you stupid? Aren't you inquisitive to know who tied you in here? No, I, I, I don't care. Just, just let us go, please. You don't care? You know, I don't. Please. Oh my God, please. What the... Oh my God. Linda. 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 Linda, are you all right? Linda, are you, are you, are you okay? Richard, I don't know if she's okay. I've been calling her, but she's not responding. She has not been moving. Which is correct. Richard here is my husband. We got married months ago. You are a bastard. 
Richard, how could you? And you, Diana, I thought you were my best friend. I trusted you. Wrong choice, Cassie. We worked so hard for you for the past few years and got little or no compensation from you. You pimp girls we recruit. And because of greed, you kept the whole percentage to yourself. Cassie, I'm not a bad person. I loved you. I loved you like your sister. But you messed it up the moment you chose this fool over me. You turned away from me the moment you brought her on board. Listen. Enough of the salmon. Can you sign the documents already? But Please. but I, I provided. Hold. I provided everything you needed. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you everything you demanded for. Oh, really? But you were supposed to share my own percentage with me. But what did you do? You were providing for me. Like you were my mother or a mother Christmas. I gave you money. All the money you needed, I gave you. If there weren't enough, you would have let me know. Yeah. If you feel I was treating you bad, you should have let me know. Well, shut up your mouth and just Instead sign. of all this drama. Can you just sign? Just sign the document or I'll kill your friend here. No, 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 please. I'll, I'll sign. I'll sign. Right then. I'll sign. My friend, sign. Sorry, yeah. Uh... Right there. My first time. <laughs> um, I, I know you people will let us go. But, 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 but you promised to let us go. Hey, hey. Please. <clears throat> I told you not to trust me. I will kill you and your friend here will take the fall. No. We have a laid down plan already. Hmm? I have a record of our call earlier when you said you've been held hostage by her. Hmm? In the text message Christopher received last night, I sent them through your phone. So you see, if there's anybody in the world who has reason to kill you, that has to be Linda. <laughs> of course. And Christopher is all part of this plan. Tell her, baby. You made Linda vulnerable the moment you told her to get a divorce. Oh. Then we planted Christopher. No. Richard, why? 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 Did you treat me any better? I should smack you right now! You greedy bastard! Fuck her! What of you will pay for this? I promise you that! Why you take that threat to your grave? Oh, please, please, don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Diana pulled the trigger. It was Diana. Did you arrest the suspects? We were very late, sir. Before we could get there, they had gone. What? How possible is that? We were supposed to live in a week time, so how could Diana do this to me? How? Richard, it seems you've been played. Well, having confessed to aiding and abating the kidnap and murder of Miss Cassie Aborg, and also attempting to bribe an officer of the law, you will be detained until investigations are concluded. Officer. Okay, ma'am. Officer, you can't do this to me. Officer, you can't do this to me. Officer, I didn't pull the trigger. Officer, I'm in the... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Madam, you've been released. You're free to go, but you have to sign this document. I don't understand. 
Well, one of the suspects confessed to have committed the crime. He thought I had evidence against him. Richard. Wait, what? Well, Christopher and Diana are on the run. They are accomplices. Wait, wh wh what's Christopher are you talking about? Your fiancé. He sold your property and made away with the proceeds. I've been wondering how he was able to lay hands on your documents. No, no. He, he came here. He gave, gave me a document. I, I, I sent without reading it because I trust. That's not it. Well, sorry. Well, that, I'm very sorry, that, madam. It's okay. In the course of our investigation, I discovered Christopher is Diana's husband. Wait. Sorry, what? They've been playing on you all the while. <sighs> Finished. Read it. I trusted him. I'm sorry. I'm finished. Wait. Chris Christopher? Damn. Go ahead and sign this, okay? Hey. I'm finished. It's okay. At least you've been vindicated. I just hope I won't regret buying this fabric. No, you enjoy it. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, thank you. Sorry. I took your love, your kindness, and your friendship for granted. You were there for me when Ichiko and I had nothing. But I took your, your, your friendship for granted. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. Uzama, please look at me now. I beg, please, for once, please. I've lost everything. The past two months has been hell for me. Everything. I don't know where else to go to right now. The woman I was cutting me threw me out because I couldn't afford to pay the rent and money for feeding. You're the only one I have right now. I don't have anywhere else to go. But Linda, Linda, wait. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's really not for me. The fact that we're going through a, a lot of things right now doesn't mean that things will not get better. No, now. Nah. Ah, this is delicious. 
I'm so happy you like it. I food. love the food. You see, I like it. Mm. <laughs> Here's money from my uh, piggy bank. Mm. Plus the money Madame Uche gave to me. Okay. Okay, hold on. But my love, you have to know this, okay? You're my strength. There's no problem that doesn't have a solution. I know. No matter what. No matter what. We'll get through this. What are you thinking about? I'm just thinking about my life. The silly things I did for money. And wish I could turn back the hands of time. A lot would have really changed. No one can turn back the hand of time. You can only make amends. Forget about what happened. It's in the past. Embrace the future. Um, what about Ike? I went to the old house and um, I saw new tenants. Well, he left the state after you accused him of having a hand in your friend's murder. So, the last time I heard from him, he said he had this um, job offer in London and he'll be leaving immediately his visa is ready. I tried his local lines, but it's not been going through. So I think he has left. I'm really happy for him. Thank you. 